Now for Mark Levin's short takes on Levin TV. Remember the big, uh, the big debate and the big concerns when uh, Hillary Clinton was using her private emails? And it raises serious legal questions. You're not supposed to be using private emails when you're on government business. And the reason is certain communications are subject to FOIA. Now, the vice president's communications are not. The presidents are not. There's been court decisions that exclude the immediate office of the White House from the Freedom of Information Act. But they're not excluded from other federal laws that require the maintenance of these records for the archives when they leave office. So you're not free. In fact, it's not legal to be getting around that system by using private email, private texts, private anything for that matter. You can use a private cell phone with family and so forth and so on because that sort of information is not kept by the government. I'm talking about other types of information. And so we've now learned, thanks to Just the News, a great website founded and run by John Solomon, a great reporter. You know, John Solomon used to work for the AP Washington Bureau, used to be in charge of it, among other uh, media platforms. But he became wise to all this. He saw what was taking place. He's an independent journalist. He's a real journalist. Uh, so it appears that Joe Biden used private email to send government information to whom? To Hunter. To Hunter Biden. Let's check it out. Go. Let's all remember all the legal pain and trouble and acrimony we had when Hillary Clinton, we discovered, had a private email address. Well, tonight at Just the News, we are reporting that Joe Biden had his own private email address, a Gmail account, and he used it on occasion to forward information from the State Department, his official advisors and uh, people in the office of the vice president, to his son, Hunter Biden. The one uh, really specific episode, there was an American hostage or prisoner in Turkey in 2014. Uh, the State Department embassy in Istanbul had learned way in advance of the public that this man, this American, was about to be released. And uh, Joe Biden forwards that information from the State Department through his private email account to Hunter Biden, the sort of actionable intelligence that most people would love to get if you've got foreign business deals like Hunter Biden. You can start trading on that information early. So for the first time, we are certain that Joe Biden has a private email address, and we know he used it to communicate with his son, in some cases, forwarding information from the United States government to his son through that private channel. There's another email where Hunter Biden goes to his dad and says, I want to get this guy as a detailee at the Treasury Department. Uh, exactly the sort of conflicts of interest that we were told didn't exist. Now we know that Hunter Biden was asking favors of his father. Uh, and so the ethics issues don't go away just because you don't have a top secret email sure. transmitted across Gmail. And of course, if there's two emails, there's a lot more emails. And the Democrats, of course, are going to protect the Bidens no matter what. The FBI and the Department of Justice have been uh, completely devoured by the left, as far as I'm concerned, in so many respects, uh, their conduct in so many different ways. Uh, the media, of course, is utterly corrupt. But the truth is, this is a big issue. This is an explosive issue. And we ought to be able to get access to all these emails now. They're not protected by anything. They're not his private emails if he's conveying government information. And so that laptop revealed a lot of information. That laptop revealed that there were these private communications. That laptop that nobody wants to look at except the New York Post and a handful of other people, Rudy Giuliani, and you see how they're punishing him, has an incredible amount of information on it. It's a treasure trove. But of course, it hasn't been subpoenaed or otherwise uh, secured by Democrat committees in the House and the Senate. Uh, the media covered up the entire laptop and raised phony questions about it, mouthpieces for the Democrat Party and the Biden campaign. Biden has repeatedly lied, saying he doesn't know anything about his son's relationship with different countries and so forth. It turns out he knows a lot about them, but we don't know how much because he's not coming forward with it. So uh, the, the two types of justice, the two types of reporting, uh, the two different worlds, if you're a liberal, if you're a Democrat, uh, one thing, if you're a Trump supporter or Trump or his family members, it's a whole other thing. Uh, people are very, very fed up with this, and yet... This is how you poison a government. For more, sign up for Levin TV.